Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 29th question from CBC class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question has an OR question as well, which we will be discussing in the same video. Now the 29th question is from the introduction to trigonometry chapter. Prove that sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta plus 1 the whole term is multiplied with cosec square theta is equal to 2. So we have to prove that this entire term is equal to 2. So first of all I am going to concentrate on only these two terms that is sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta. Now the same terms I have written over here and there is another way of writing these two terms that is sine square theta the whole term squared minus cos square theta the whole term squared. These two are the same representation of the given terms. Now if we look at these two terms, they resemble an algebraic identity which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So if we look closely, a square is nothing but sine square theta the whole term squared and b squared is nothing but cos square theta the whole term squared. So by comparison we can say that a is equal to sine square theta and b is equal to cos square theta. So I am going to simply write a plus b and a minus b in terms of sine square theta and cos square theta. So sine square theta the whole square minus cos square theta the whole square is equal to a plus b is written as sine square theta plus cos square theta times a minus b is written as sine square theta minus cos square theta. Now if we look at this term that is sine square theta plus cos square theta, this is one of our trigonometric identities. And that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Which means this entire term that is a plus b goes to 1. So we get sine square theta the whole square minus cos square theta the whole square which is nothing but sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta as just sine square theta minus cos square theta. So let me write over here. So sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta is equal to 1 times this entire a minus b is nothing but a minus b which is sine square theta minus cos square theta. Next. Let us come back to this main question. We are going to simply replace this sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta with the terms we got just now. So let me write this entire term again. So sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta plus 1. That is nothing but replacing these two terms by sine square theta minus cos square theta and plus 1 stays the same. Now here I am going to again make use of this trigonometric identity which we have written that is sine square theta plus cos square theta. I am going to replace this one by these two terms. So let me write here. So sine square theta minus cos square theta and plus 1 is replaced with sine square theta plus cos square theta. Now minus cos square theta and plus cos square theta will add up to 0. So we are left with sine square theta plus sine square theta which is nothing but 2 sine square theta. So this entire term of the question that is sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta plus 1 has just come down to 2 sine square theta. So 2 sine square theta times cosec square theta and we also know that cosec is the reciprocal trigonometric function of sine square theta. So we can write here. 2 sine square theta times cosec square theta I am going to reciprocate it and write it as 1 over sine square theta. Then the sine square from the numerator divides the sine square from the denominator and we are left with 2. So this is what we had to prove that is sine to the power of 4 theta minus cos to the power of 4 theta plus 1 times cosec square theta is equal to 2. So we have proved it by using the algebraic identity and trigonometric identity. Now let us move on to the OR question. If sin x plus cosec x is equal to 2, 
then find the value of sin to the power of 19x plus cosec to the power of 20x. So let us begin by using this information they have given. That is sin x plus cosec x equal to 2. Now we know that cosec x is the reciprocal trigonometric ratio of sin x. So in place of cosec x, I can write 1 over sin x. So let me write here. So sin x plus 1 over sin x is equal to 2. Now let us take a common LCM. That is this is sin x over 1 and this is 2 over 1. So we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by sin x. So here sin x times sin x and 1 also multiplies with sin x. So sin x times 1. And the same thing we are going to do on the right hand side. That is 2 times sin x and we are going to multiply the denominator also by sin x. So sin x times sin x gives us sin square x over 1 times sin x gives us sin x plus 1 over sin x stays the same is equal to 2 times sin x over 1 times sin x is again sin x. Now since all the denominators are same, we can just cancel them off and we are left with sin square x plus 1 equal to 2 sin x. Next, let us take the 2 sin x on one side of the equal to sin. That is, we are going to take this on the left hand side. So we will get sin square x and plus 2 sin x comes on the other side of equal to sin and becomes minus 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. Now the same equation, we can write it in this form. That is sin square x minus 2 times sin x times 1 plus 1 can be written as 1 square because 1 square again gives you back the 1 equal to 0. Now if you look at this expression carefully, this represents an algebraic identity which is a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole square. So here you can clearly see that a is nothing but sin x. So a square is sin square x minus 2 times a is sin x times b we have taken it as 1 in this case plus b square is nothing but 1 square. So it is a kind of comparison we are going to do between these two expressions. And this entire algebraic identity will be equal to a minus b the whole term squared. So here we are comparing a with sin x and b with 1. So simply in place of a minus b the whole square, we are going to write it as sin x minus 1 the whole square. So sin x minus 1 the whole term squared is equal to 0. This entire term is equal to 0. Therefore sin x minus 1 the whole term squared is equal to 0. Now taking the square on the other side of the equal to sign, it becomes square root of 0. But square root of 0 is 0. So we are left with sin x minus 1 equal to 0. Or taking the minus 1 on the other side of the equal to sign, we get sin x equal to 1. So this is the value of sin x we got here. Now let us again come back to this main question where they have asked us to find the value of sin to the power of 19x plus cosec to the power of 20x. So let me write the question again. So sin to the power of 19x plus cosec to the power of 20x can be written as sin x whole raised to the power of 19 plus cosec x is written as 1 over sin x whole term raised to the power of 20. Since here we got the value of sin x as 1, I'm going to simply plug in the value of sin x over here. So 1 to the power of 19 plus 1 over sin x is again 1. So here 1 over 1 to the power of 20. So 1 to the power of 19 is 1 plus 1 over 1 is 1 itself. So again 1 to the power of 20 is again 1. So we are going to get the value of sin to the power of 19x plus cosec to the power of 20x as 2. That is 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So to solve this we have made use of the reciprocal trigonometric function. That is cosec is nothing but 1 over sin x. And then we have made use of an algebraic identity that is a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole term squared. And then we got the value of sin x and then plugging in the value of sin x in this given expression, we get the value as 2. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving these examples, do comment below. 
and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching